Welcome to WGC. I'm Samuel. Today I'll show you the Shishasana, the head standing, the inversion over the head. Okay? So, some security things about this posture, especially if you, you're doing it as a beginner. Uh, we're not going to leave a place, weight, too much weight in the head. So for that, we're going to use the forearms and we're going to push the forearms forward, opening space between shoulders and neck. So you can, you can see if you're collapsing this, there is compression in the neck and it's a little bit dangerous for your cervical healthy. So you, you just open space. Now we are standing, the shoulders are going down. But when we do inversion, so the shoulders will be going up and away from the ears. Just remember to leave, keep them away from the ears. Okay? So we're going to do a triangle with the forearms. And we, the pink finger can go in. So, or you can leave them out, both out. Or the one which is lower goes in so it gives you this will give you some more space okay and this the size of this triangle is the same size of your forearm so you can hug your arms with the opposite hand the, the elbows and and this is the size then you put your hands together choose the size and the position of your pink finger Yes. Then you can uh, place the top of your head close to the hand inside this triangle, inside the upper part of this triangle. And you can stretch the spine. And sometimes this will be your headstand today. And you gotta accept it that maybe this is your level and this is how you're gonna work. Because if you work here and you really build a good base, you're gonna have a stable and safe head standing. So here we start to opening space between shoulders and ear, feeling the weight more in the arms than the head. So it's like 70% of the weight is in your arms, 30% or even less in your head, okay? And then you, you can step further, walking in the direction of your head. When your hips are over your head, there will be no weight in your feet, so this will be easier. When the hips go over your head, the feet float. You don't need to jump. Never jump, okay? If, it's, if you don't have the space enough to bring the hip over, you can just fold, bend one knee and bring it to the chest. Don't go with leg straight up. And it will create momentum, it will be easier to you to fall. So you bring your chest, your knee to the chest, and then you can bring your weight with the point of your big toe over your head and your leg will float. Then you can bring your second knee to the chest and you can hold here. Here is very good. If you stay here stable for two, three, four, five minutes, it will be great. If you're very safe here and stable, you can start to unfold first the hips and then the knees. Okay? And you rotate your pelvis a little bit forward, bringing pubic bone to the navel so you can open more space in the legs. You can flex your feet and spread your sole of your feet into fingers to come back you do the opposite way you bring your knee to the chest and you bring your feet to the ground to the floor bend your knees and then the child pulls balasana bring your arms back and release the weight of your shoulders 
and you stay there for one minute relaxing relax the face the neck and once you feel ready you can come up inhale so this is headstanding Shri Shasana thank you for coming for joining